Hello yogis. My name is Amy and I will be guiding you through a 51 minute yoga for athletes flow today. Make sure to listen to your body, take the modifications that you need. And if you would like, I will be utilizing two blocks today. If you don't have blocks, that is okay. Uh, make sure to have some water. It's really important to hydrate before, during, and after practice. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and get started lying on our backs today. So to start, come to the bottom of your space and use your core as you make your way down one vertebrae at a time. Place the soles of your feet to touch for reclined angle pose. If this is too much on your hips, you can place your knees together like bookends. Finding that variation that works best for you. Placing one hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Take a full deep breath in. And deep breath out. Let's do that again together. Inhale, fill up. And exhale out. Take a few more cycles of breath, settling into your space. Gently roll your head side to side, letting go of anything happen that happened before being present here on your mat today. Stay connected with your breath as you take these gentle movements. Feeling the rising and falling of your chest. Notice if there's any tension from fingertips to toes. Begin to breathe into those spaces. If you feel any tension, just let it go. Our practice today is themed on strength and confidence. If you'd like to breathe that in, inhale, exhale, send it out. From here, extend your legs long, reach arms up overhead. Take a long stretch to start, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, send your knees to your chest. Rock side to side, take a nice back massage here. Relax your jaw, your tongue. Extend your left leg long, flex your right leg up. It's okay if you have your right knee bent micro bend your knee and roll your right ankle if it feels okay you could take some gentle movement bending and straightening your knee really waking up that hamstring Flex your right foot and left foot. Reach for the inside sole of your right foot for half happy baby. Gently pull your knee to your shoulder. Keep grounded down. Think about keeping your whole body grounded down as you gently pull your right foot down. Option to place your left hand on your left hip bone to ensure that you're grounded. And massage your right foot if that feels good. From here, straighten your right leg. Send your right leg over to the right side. If you have a towel or a strap, you can wrap it around the sole of your right foot and send it over to the right side. 
You should feel an adductor stretch, your inner thigh. Keep your feet flexed. Keep your body grounded down, gaze up to the sky or ceiling. Come back through center. Send your right leg over to the left. As you can probably feel, you don't need to move your right leg much over to the left to get an IT band stretch just outside of your hip and your knee. Nice, come back through center. Gently pull one more time and then hug your right knee into right side bodies. Roll out your ankle once again. You might hear some crackles and pops especially if it's morning for you. Let's switch that out. Flex your right foot long. And send your left leg high. Micro bend your left knee. One side might feel a little bit tighter than the other. That is okay. for the inside sole of your left foot for half happy baby left side. Keep your body nice and long, grounded down on your mat. Gently pull your left knee into left shoulder. Good, straighten your leg and send your left leg over to the left side. Adductor stretch, inner thigh stretch, left side this time. Option to place your right hand on your right hip bone and breathe. Send your leg back through center over to the right side. IT band, iliotibial band stretch on your left side. This is really great if you're a runner or if you sit, if you're driving or traveling, sitting in front of a computer. It's going to be a really great juicy stretch for Let's come back through center. Hug your left knee into left side body, inhale. And exhale, bring your right knee to meet the left, rock side to side once again. Well-deserved back massage, especially if you do say CrossFit or obviously this is yoga for athletes, so really important to take that time to stretch flex so that you can be your best finding that strength and confidence and flex your feet up the wall micro bend your knees palms face down roll your ankles and rotate And let's rock and roll back and forth a few times. One more time. Hold here at the top for boat pose. Flex your feet. Static hold. Smile your collarbone open. Let's hold here 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, last 5. Four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Let's come to a tabletop position, stacking your shoulders over wrists, 
hips over knees. Create a neutral spine to start. Drop your belly for cow pose. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Dome your back, tuck and round. Allow your head to hang heavy. Loosen up your jaw, your tongue, your neck. Back through, inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Pull your belly in, round. One more time through, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Come back to neutral into a child's pose. Widen your knees, toes touch. Send your glutes to heels. Walk your hands forward, forehead down on your space. Gently roll your head side to side. Continuing to loosen up, continuing to let go. Check in with your breath. Think of an intention for your practice today, a dedication, maybe that strength and confidence. Whatever that is, take a breath in, breathe it in. And exhale, send it out. Set up for thread the needle. Take your left arm, send it under your right. Head comes down with your left ear on your space. Shoulder stretch left side. Arm can come up overhead or option to take a half bind with your right arm. Finding what feels good in your body and what works for you. Most important thing is to breathe. Allow this to be a passive stretch. Thinking about continuing to loosen up your hips and glutes. Let's push that out. Place your right hand up overhead. Send your left arm up overhead. Take a breath in to even out. And on your exhale, send your right arm behind left, right ear to your mat. Arm can come up overhead or behind your back, taking whatever you took on the previous side, making sure you find that symmetry and even it out. Shoulder stretch on your right side. back through center, left arm up overhead, right arm up overhead, take a breath in, exhale tabletop position to start, curl toes under, walk your hands back, calf stretch, I'll come to the center so you can see, heels are lifted up off of the earth, Wrap your forearms around your shins and carefully tuck your forehead into your knees, pulling your belly in. Might be a little tipsy like me, that's okay. We're building that muscle memory, getting a stretch in calves and upper back. Shaking is good. Place your palms down, straighten your legs for a forward fold. It's okay to bend your knees. Ragdoll pose, reach opposite hands to opposite elbows. Option to sway side to side, folding your torso over your thighs. Again, IT band stretch, hamstring stretch. focused on your breath. Ground down through the four corners of your feet. If you would like a shoulder stretch, clasp your hands behind your back and stretch your fists long. Unclench your jaw. This is 
is one of my favorite postures. It stretches almost every muscle in the body. Highly recommend doing this daily if you can. Bend your knees, heel toe your feet to touch. Roll up one vertebrae at a time, keeping a bend in your knees. Slowly roll up. Hands come to heart center, samastitihi equals standing pose. Come back to your dedication, maybe that strength and confidence. Thinking about that positive energy from root through crown. Take a full breath in and full breath out. Arms come by your sides. Inhale, shoulders up to your ears. Exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades back. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, send them back. One more time. Exhale, back. Circle sweep up with arms up overhead. Take an inhale. Exhale, reach for your left wrist. Bend over to the right side for a side body stretch on your left. So you'll keep your hips squared forward and gently bend over to the right side. You want your bicep away from your ear to really experience that stretch. Come back through center, inhale, find length. On your exhale, reach for your right wrist, bend over to the left side. Hips are pointed forward, right bicep away from your right ear and breathe. Come back through center, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward, hands through heart center. Inhale, halfway lift. When you come to a halfway lift, secure a flat back, send your shoulders back, crown of your head is forward. Forward fold. Mountain pose, circle, squeeze up. Inhale, reach, reach. This time, exhale, back bend. Press your hip tips forward. Goal post your arms open for a pectoral stretch. Gaze up to the sky to protect your neck. Inhale. And exhale, settle in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, flat back. Exhale, plant your hands down, step back, high plank position. Option to hold here or come down to your knees. Let's hold here 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, hips down, 5, 4, getting stronger, 3, 2, 1. Nice. Bring your knees down. Walk your knees to the center of your space. Setting up for camel pose. Standing on your knees. Option to fold your mat in half or even double to protect your knees if you have sensitive knees. Place your hands on the small of your back. We're actually gonna do a variation of camel today. So place your right leg out to the right side to start. Lengthen, keep your torso nice and long and send your right arm up, inhale up, exhale it back. Gaze up to the sky, which I just realized there's a waning moon, broad daylight, super cool. <laughs> so wherever you're at, reach, 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 right arm back. Exhale, send your right arm forward first. Bend your right knee, circle your right arm out, up and over. Really waking up your shoulders and back. Take a few rounds of a big circular movement with your right arm, opening out and letting go. Breath in, inhale. Exhale, come back through center. Hand at your heart. Let's switch that out. Nice work. Standing on your knees to even that out first and then place your left leg long. Out to the side, 
left arm is in front. Keep it nice and straight. Right arm on the small of your back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, draw your gaze to the ceiling or sky. Reach back. Send your left arm down. Bend your left knee. Circle out wide. Breath to movement. Inhale, arm up to the sky. Exhale, bend. Take that a couple of more rounds here. And one more time. Hand comes to heart. Take a breath in and breath out. Beautiful. Come back into a tabletop position. Circle out your ankles. Curl your toes under, cover your shins. Hold here five, four, three, two, and one. Extend your legs back. First downward facing dog. Begin to pedal out and let go. Check in with your breath. Soften your elbows. Maybe you bend one knee and then the other. Weight will be in the L-shaped portion of your hands, allowing your head to hang heavy, gazing at your toes. Hips are pointed up at the sky. Option to bend your knees as much as you need. We'll take another IT band stretch. Send your left hand on the outside of your right ankle. Pull belly into spine. Feeling a stretch in your right IT band. Soften your right elbow, careful not to hyperextend. Come back through center, breathe in. Exhale, send right hand on the outside of your left ankle. Continuing to loosen up, continuing to let go. IT band stretch left side, soften left elbow. Notice I'm pedaling out. Do anything that feels good. Take any micro movements in your body that feel good. And back through downward facing dog. Lift your heels high on your inhale. Exhale, press down. Walk your feet to the center of your space. Come into a nice chair pose, sitting low with weight in your heels. Fire up your inner thighs. Maybe lift your toes up off of your mat, ensuring that your weight is distributed distributed properly. Shoulders away from ears. Swing arms back to kiss your triceps together and breathe. Maybe you sit a little bit lower. Nice and confident. Take that upward facing dog chest. Back through center, inhale, chair pose. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift, create a flat back. Exhale, step back, high plank position. This time, five, five second hold. Four, three, two, and one. Take your flow, knees come down. Inhale, strike through, press up for cobra on your inhale. Exhale, curl toes under, downward facing dog. Send your right leg high, inhale high. Exhale, scorpion dog, stack your hips, circle out your right ankle. So nice for a quad stretch. Sending your left heel down a little bit more, keeping your shoulders squared forward. Take any adjustments that you need. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step through, hands low lunge. Find a hip flexor stretch on your left side. Stack your right knee directly over ankle. If you'd like, you have two blocks, go ahead and grab those. Drop your back knee down. 
find an even deeper stretch in your left hip flexor. Inhale, cow lunge, shift forward. Pull your chest up, gaze up, pull your chest up, deeper stretch. On your exhale, walk your hands back, maybe even take your blocks back. Flex your right foot, lean in, sending your chest to your right knee. Again, if you have really tight hamstrings, feel free to bend your knee as much as you need. The idea is to utilize these blocks take gentle movements to start straightening that hamstring out. You don't want to force it, just take some little movements. And so as you breathe, move. So inhale, straighten, exhale out. Inhale, exhale, straighten out. Move your mouth, your jaw around, continuing to loosen up any tension and let go. Come back through, remove your blocks, inhale, crescent moon, exhale, open your arms out, goal post your arms for another pec stretch. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, right arm high. Exhale, settle in, easy twist. Feel that top shoulder open. Roll your wrist out. Inhale. Exhale, frame your foot, low lunge. Crawl your back toes under, coming into a crescent lunge. Use your core as you make your way up. Take your time, slow and controlled. Spiral your pinky fingers in. See if you can tuck your tailbone in, shoulders away and breathe. Swing your arms back. Squeeze triceps together, activate your front leg, gaze forward. Take an inhale, exhale, open into a warrior two. Keep that nice 90 degree angle in your front leg. Match your front heel to back. I have a line here to measure. Think of an imaginary line to measure out and adjust as needed for that proper form, safe form. Shoulders will be down. Inhale, reverse warrior. Keep your front bend. Reach your front arm back with palm facing down. Side body stretch right side. Exhale, shift forward. Side angle. Left arm is high. Oh, that sunshine is nice and bright. <laughs> Nice, beautiful summer day here in the Seattle area. Inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg, reach your front arm back. Exhale, find your flow, hands come down, step back. Option to go directly to downward facing dog or take cobra or up dog, your choice. Maybe you do some push-ups if you're feeling fancy today. Tricep push-ups and press back downward facing dog. Take a cleansing breath in and cleansing breath out. Nice, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, scorpion, bend your left knee. Keep your shoulders squared forward, micro bend elbows. Send your right heel down a little bit more if you can. Stacking your hips, circle out left ankle and breathe. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step through, low lunge. Hip flexor stretch on your right side. Option to grab your blocks if you have them. 
or place your hands down on your mat, getting into an even deeper stretch. Drop your back knee down, untuck your toes, inhale, press your chest up for a cow lunge. On your exhale, rock your blocks back, straighten your left leg, flex your foot for more of a stretch. Sending your chest to your knee and breathe. This side happens to be a little bit tighter for me. So one side you might be able to get all the way down to your knee and the other side maybe not so much. Just take that self-love and care, find that grace and patience, remembering that this is a practice and a journey. Finding that strength and confidence to know where you need to be today. And come back through, remove your blocks. Inhale, rise up, crescent moon. Exhale, open out. Cactus your arms open. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, left arm high, easy twist. Exhale, down. Curl back, toes under, feet on separate tracks. Widen your stance. Rise up, crescent lunge. Take a breath in. Breath out. Swing your arms back. Crescent lunge with fly. Airplane, air, airplane arms, rather. Activate your front leg, inhale. Exhale, open, warrior two, take up space. I'm gonna shift to the front so you can see me. Keeping that safe bend in your front leg, shoulders are down. Full belly in, inhale, reverse warrior, reach back. Side body stretch on your left side. Exhale, side angle, shift forward. Right arm high, left arm down, and breathe. Circle out your right wrist if that feels good. You did it on the previous side. And then inhale, reverse triangle, straighten your front leg, reach your front arm back. Exhale, flow, high to low. Option for up dog or cobra or downward facing dog. Let's take a breath in, inhale, and exhale out. Inhale, prepare, look forward, hover. Exhale, travel top of your space. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale into a chair pose, sitting low. This pose is a little bit more familiar now. And exhale, eagle. Send your right arm under left. Sit low and breathe. Once you feel grounded, inhale, right leg up, exhale over. Double bind option to place your foot down on your space for more support. Hands away from face, gaze forward and breathe. Option to stay here or take your time unraveling into a warrior three. Micro bend, left knee, flex your right foot long. Unravel, hands come to heart center. Hold here, three, two, and one. Come to standing, we're gonna set up for tree pose from here. So for tree, bend your right leg, place your foot either on your ankle, your calf, or your thigh. I'm gonna turn so you can see. Careful to avoid your knee. You don't want to press into any joints. 
Hands come to heart center. Send your right knee out. Really pull your belly in strong. Maybe you take an arm variation. My favorite is palm tree. Clasping your hands, pressing palms up to the sky. Getting that nice stretch through your torso, spine. Finding that non-moving object at the front, focus and breathe. This is a posture that represents strength and confidence. If you feel like you ever need a little bit more, this is a great pose to take. Take a breath in. Exhale, slowly come out. Nice work. Circle, sweep up, inhale. Exhale, chair pose. Setting up for eagle on the left side, send your left arm under right. Once you feel grounded, root down with your right foot, inhale, left leg up, and exhale, bind it. Sit a little bit lower. Option to kickstand your foot down for more support. Stay here and breathe. Or if you would like, Flex your left foot back for warrior three. Parallel your torso to your space. Hands come to heart center. Hold here three, two, and one. Come to a standing at heart center. Let's set up tree pose the other side. Place your foot anywhere but your knee. Pressing foot into leg, leg into foot. Maybe you take a different arm variation. Clasp hands behind your back. Maybe reach your arms up overhead, whatever you're feeling. Find that drishti focus and breathe. breath in and breath out. Shake it out. Nice work, everyone. Nice work at home or wherever you're at. And what I mean by that is showing up for your space, showing up for yourself. Oftentimes that's half the battle. We're going to do one more balancing posture. Big toe pose. So to start, Root down for your left foot. Arms come up, flex your right foot, bend your right knee. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, reach, clasp around your kneecap, right side. You can stay here. Or take your peace fingers, clasp them around your big toe. Extend your leg forward. This would be the second layer. It's okay if you're wobbly or getting stronger. Otherwise, option to bring your arms out to a T. Hold here three, two, and one. Take your time coming out. Beautiful work. Remember, if you're wobbly, you're building that muscle memory, just being okay with where you're at today. Let's even that out. Start by rooting down with your right foot. Bend your left knee. Clasp your hands around your left kneecap. Hug your knee in to start. Option to stay here. Or for big toe pose, wrap your peace fingers around your big toe and flex your left leg long in front of you. Bend your knee as much as you need. You might be a little bit wobbly. Again, that's okay. Send your leg out to the left side. Arms come out to a T. Let's hold here. Three, two, one. Take your time coming out. Shake that out. Ooh. 
soon come into Malasana Frog Pose. Send your feet out at the width of your mat, pointing your toes out. Come down into a squatted position with hands at heart center. Gaze forward. Come back to your intention. Maybe you sway side to side if that feels good. This is a really intense stretch for your hips and glutes. So if it's too much, feel free to have a seat on a block or um, stay in an easy seated position, whatever feels good to you. Option to roll your wrists once again. Straighten out your legs, heel toe your feet to touch. So come into a sitting position, wind down with some restorative stretching. Option to sit on your block. Place the soles of your feet together for butterfly pose. You can reach for your feet, give them a nice little massage, or gently pull your knees, push your knees down rather. reach for the tops of your feet and lean forward. Stay focused on your breath. your time coming back out. Extend your right leg long. Press your left foot into your inner thigh of your right leg. Gently twist over to the right. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward. Place your hands on your shins, your ankle, or whatever is accessible to you. One day, nose touches knee. Keep your sits bones down and breathe. Walk your hands up, place your left palm down and inhale, right arm up and back. Take a full breath in and exhale down. Let's switch that out. Flex your left foot long, bend your right knee, place your foot into your inner left thigh. Gently twist your waist over to the left side. Inhale, reach long, exhale, fold forward placing hands on shins, ankles, or maybe the sole of your foot. Careful not to force. Think about keeping your sits bones grounded down as you fold forward. left arm up and exhale it back. Take a full breath in. Exhale, come back. This time send your legs out creating a triangle. Take a block if you would like, place it in front of you and walk your hands forward. time coming back up. Come to the top of your space 
And we'll take boat pose once again. Flex your feet out, arms are open, static hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, last 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice. Hug your knees in. Tuck your forehead into your knees. Take a breath in and breath out. Use your core as you come down one vertebrae at a time. Cross your right ankle over left knee. Flex your right foot for a figure four stretch. Clasp your hands behind your left thigh and gently pull. You can press your right elbow into your right knee to open out a little bit more, maybe shift side to side if that feels good. Or you can take your palm and gently press it against your right knee for an even deeper stretch. Take your time coming out and switch sides. Cross your left ankle over right knee. Reach behind your right thigh. Press your left elbow into left knee and gently shift side to side. your knees in, rock side to side. Stay connected with your breath, with your intention. Feet up the wall. Option to stay here or you can take plow pose or plow pose. Keep your neck in a neutral position, gaze up to protect your neck. Press through your palms. Inhale up and over, place your hands on the small of your back with toes pointing down. Tuck your shoulders in for a spine decompression. It's okay if your toes don't touch. Just continuing to practice and breathe. into a shoulder stand or pike. Circle out your ankles. Come down one vertebrae at a time. Option for happy baby or hug your knees in. For happy baby you can straighten one leg and then the other or both. Keep your low back down for protecting your low back. here. Send your left leg long. Hug your right knee in. Inhale. Exhale. Send your knee over to the left. Gaze right for two plane twists. Back through center. Hug your knee in. And let's switch that out. Extend your right leg long, hug left knee in, inhale. Exhale, send your knee over to the right, gazing left. Allow this to be a passive stretch. Hug your left knee in. And then hug your right knee in. Wrap your forearms around your shins. Tuck your forehead in. Take a breath in. Exhale, final resting pose. Shavasana. I need to adjust a little hip food. Heels sprawled out. Palms face up. 
and find stillness. your arms up overhead. Exhale, reach behind your thighs, rock and roll. Come to a seated position. Hands at heart center. Take a breath in and breath out. Thanks so much for sharing your practice today, finding that strength and confidence to make it on your mat and bring out your best. Namaste. Thank you.